So she can't be at Tuesday morning, right? No. So this one, I was like, okay, I can totally use this for like a peacock theme. Hey fam, it is Eclectic Barbie back today. Of course, bringing you guys yet another haul. Anyway, so as you can probably tell by the title, I will be hauling my most recent visit to Tuesday morning. I looked up once again because I am a hashtag bargain shopper on a few crafting items. So if you guys want to see what I got, stay tuned. Okay, fam. So I have been crafting and getting into my whole artistry when it comes to my crafts and things of that nature. I was actually uh, planning on, I, it was a Sunday afternoon stayed with the or chilled with the fam because church was not we did not have church due to the virus right so um went and spent time with fam then after i was actually planning on going to michael's michael's out near my house now for me to come from where fam was home was about a 30 minute ish 30 to 45 minute drive in between there so I was going to leave where fam was, and I was going to go to back to my side of town, practically. Well, I'm en route, probably 10, 15 minutes on my way back home. My mother sends me this text message of these rolls of vinyl. For you crafters out there, you totally get where I'm coming from with this story. And yet again, it is another story time, so bear with me. So... I see this this picture, and mind you, I'm driving, so I really shouldn't be checking my phone anyway. But anyway, it was my mother. I had to make sure everything was good. She texted me. I didn't know what was going on. Saw that picture. I'm like, okay, I know she's not where she said she was going to go because she sent me a picture of this vinyl. Um, so she can't be at Tuesday morning, right? No. So me... Not, um, I guess not being as thorough of a shopper for the times that I've gone in Tuesday morning, I did not realize Tuesday morning had a craft section. Okay, if you were unaware that Tuesday morning had a craft section, please leave a comment down below. Leave a pair of scissors down below so I know that I'm not alone. I had no clue. I thought Tuesday morning was like a step down from like a home goods type situation. But obviously, it's almost like department store-ish without the clothing or the toiletries. Or really, they do have toiletries, but not all. Anyway, neither here nor there. Um, so she, I, send this pic, I see this picture, and I call her. And I'm like, uh, Ma, are you at Tuesday morning, or did you go to Michael's? You're Michael's on that side of town. She's like, no, Brittany, I'm at Tuesday morning. Did you see the picture I sent you? I'm like, yeah, I saw the picture. That's why I'm calling you right now. You're at Tuesday morning? And she was like, yeah, this vinyl is like $3.99, $4.99 for like real rolls of vinyl, like by Cricut, like a great brand. So again, my crafters out there, the crafters out there know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm like tripping. Mind you, I just told you I'm 15 minutes away from where I just was. You know I was on the highway. I got off on the next exit. I turned around and went to Tuesday morning. Needless to say, I'm here now bringing you guys a haul video. So let's get into it. So the first thing, of course, I'm going to go over are the rolls of vinyl that she um, uh, sent me the picture of. Of course, I did not get all of them. They had quite a few. Um, the colors were, I wouldn't say, some of them were sort of off and not colors that people like 
first, you know, go go for initially. But I did rack up. I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I bought seven rows of vinyl. So I'll go over those first. And I did get two different brands. I'll share the popular brand with you guys first. And also, I just thought about it. One thing I do want to um, ask you guys to bear with me. I am a bit nasally, as you can probably hear. It's early spring, and it's like a week into the virus situation. So, like, all of that happened all at one time. So, I'm like nasally, allergy-ish. So, and I just said the whole thing with the virus because you'll be able to timestamp when is what. Because a lot of people um, are having like sinus and allergy issues and mine flared up like three days ago or so. So I'm battling that right now. And I actually feel better than I sound, fortunately. It's just like all like right here. So anyway, that's why I'm sounding like this which is not the greatest but i'm like i'm doing a video because i want to go ahead and use my items my merch that i purchased so yeah i'm not gonna wait so first um first off were three rolls of cricket 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 vinyl as in cricket cricket vinyl so i got this one and it, this is an iron-on. I got this one, which is silver. This is an iron-on. And I got this one, which is a combo pack. These are all uh, permanent, and they're matte. So this one, metallic vinyl, $6.99. Okay. Uh, the estimated retail value is $14.49. I know at Michael's and Joann's, I want to say these run between $14 to $18. So this was a an amazing deal for $7. Like you really couldn't beat some of these prices. Then for uh, these two, both of these were six. No, no, no. The silver was $6.99. The bluish type color was $6.49. So I got those three vinyls. Then I got four more vinyls, or four more rolls of vinyl, different brand, sort of excited about trying this brand out to see how they work in comparison to Cricut and Scissor. So y'all, I am absolutely in love with these three. Now I'm glad I could get the glitter, but like when I saw these, I said, okay, Brittany, you just, you just, you have, you have to get them. You can't. Just leave them. Um, and so once I finish this video, I am going to go on AmericanCrafts.com to see what they're about. And they are located in Linden, Utah. So that's where these four rolls of vinyl come from. So this is a holographic um, lip gloss foil adhesive vinyl. So I got that one. That color is just like amazing. It's a pink. It's like a blush metallic color, but it's really a pink metallic color. Um, so I got that. Then I got another adhesive vinyl. And this is a baby pink. And I hope the colors are picking up well. This one, I was like, okay, I can totally use this for like a peacock theme type situation for my merch hashtag etsy shop hashtag poshmark um get that information from the description box below uh moving on this is another uh, foil holographic i guess american crest they call it foil but yeah other companies call it metallic um vinyl so this is the color it's like a teal green let me see y'all I tried to get in good lighting and it's it, the camera is picking it up as more so blue but it is close to this color of the label 
So I fell in love with that. But I was thinking like, now if I don't do like a peacock theme type situation, these two colors or these three colors or these two will be cute on something. I have no idea what I'm going to use them for. But if you guys have any ideas on what I could possibly use them for, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, and I just got a plain white adhesive vinyl by the same company. And one thing I did not look at are the dimensions. So, in comparison to Cricut, Cricut, these sheets are 12 by 12 for the bundle. And these for the vinyl, American Crafts, when it's 12 by 48. So, I'm trying to think. For the Cricut Glitter, it's 12 by 19. So, you actually get more in the vinyl brand than you do with the Cricut. So, I have one more um, vinyl situation. So, let me grab that. This, I think, was like the biggest win of all. Of the whole... Just about the whole purchase, it was probably the biggest win, was this package. Uh, first of all, let me show you that it is Cricut, so you believe me. Premium vinyl. It is a sheet of gold vinyl. This is another one of my favorite colors. And I don't know if you all can see. Yes. Those are my colors. Those are my colors. Those are my colors. So, fell in love. Um, none of the packaging said how many sheets were in here, but it was only ten dollars, nine ninety nine. So I'm super excited because this was a yet another bargain. Estimated value is. If the camera will focus and it won't, of course, estimated value on this tag is $23. Hashtag winning. And this has to be at least, this is probably about 40 sheets of, it's at least, it's over 20. So I'm, that was that. That was all the vinyl. And bring, okay, y'all. So, okay, so next. I got a tool set. Yes. Yes. Thumbnail. Okay. So, got this set. One, two, of five scraping tools. Do you call them scraping tools? Okay. They are called stainless palette knives. But I will be using them to scrape items off of my mat when I am cutting with my Cricut. Primarily, of course, I'll find other uses for these as well. But this was a good deal. Estimated value is $15. So this was a, a super deal. So got these. Next. I got some glue dots. This is a, I definitely have a project in mind that I want to use these for. Um, and from what I understand, and these are actually flat, I was thinking they were going to be raised just a bit more than what they actually are. But anyway, I got some glue dots because I do have a project that I want to try with these that actually need to be raised off of a flat surface um, to get the dimension and the effect that I want to get. So I got these glue dots. Uh, they were $2.99. Um, they hold up to eight pounds and I got 300 of them. Here you go for those details and that's that. And it looks like they are square. I thought they were actually dots, but yeah, they must be square. So got those for that project. Then Tumblr Life. Yes, I saw a, um, some fine glitter that I am going to be using for a tumbler and probably 
various other crafts. So got this, that was $4.49, that was a really good deal. Um, it is hard to come across some good uh, quality glitter I've, sh I've noticed in stores because I have not looked up in Hobby Lobby, not really digging the glitter selection they have. It's not the greatest, so. And then uh, Michael's, I actually uh, got some really pretty glitter um, from there a while ago. So that was just really pretty. So I did look up there, but it's hard. I feel like it's hard to find um, different colors, like, and not just the standard colors, but to have a, a wide variety of good quality glitters in store seems to be a little difficult. So when I saw that, went ahead and grabbed that because I can always add that to the glitter collection, right? So got that. Then for the same project that I'll be using the glue dots on, um, I'll be using this on that I'm about to show you. Plus I have another project that I want to work on to see if I can um, I can succeed on that one as well. But I'll be having a craft with me video come out, I'm sure, after this one. Um, so you guys can see some of what I'm referring to when I'm doing these hauls. So I got a pack of cardstock. And it is this is actually American Crafts 2. But it has a different website on it. It is Bazil Basics, and that's Bazil with two two Z's and two L's, um, BazilBasics.com. But they, for the location, it's the same as American Crafts, and it's listed as American Crafts, so I'm really not sure why the website is different, but it is what it is. This packet of paper comes with 30 colors. 30 colors. It is 100 sheets total, and it was only $10. So, we got that. So, I'm excited to get into this and see what we can come up with this. Okay, so next, I actually should have uh, done these right after I did the glue dots because this is another option uh, that I could use in replacement of the glue dots. I decided to get both. <coughs> I decided to get both. Um, because I figured I could use both at some point and it's always good to sort of build up your craft collection So you do have the supplies you need when needed got these They are adhesive foam dots The only thing with these is I believe and I'm not sure about the glue dots because I actually need There to be a glue or sticky side on both the top and the bottom um, so I think with either one of these, whichever one I use to get that, I'm going to have to put some glue on top of whichever one I'm using. These were $1.99 and it does not say how many are in here. Oh yes, it does. It's 165 of, of one size, 50 of another size and 60 of another size. So that's 165 plus 110, which is 275. Didn't know you, I could do that. Well, shit. Yeah. So, we <laughs> got those. Then I have two more items. It's a portable trimmer. Let me say that. It is a, that is what it's called by American Crafts as well. It is a portable trimmer. And as you can see, this slides up and down. And you, there is a ruler on actually both sides of these. So it looks as though I can slide the vinyl through here and cut it. So we'll see how that works. Yeah, we'll see how that works. I think I may be able to lift this up too though. But I'm super, excuse me, I'm super excited about this. Yeah. So, last, so, somewhat last but not least is a cutting mat. I have a big one. 
I don't have a smaller one. This one, I am super excited about using because now I can, if I want to use my bigger sliding cutter, then I can use this on the table or I can use that one that I just showed you. But, and so I don't damage my table or cut um, like marks into my table. So super excited about this. Hold on. For the trimmer, it was $5.499. Good deal. Because this runs, it says estimated value is $7, but from the ones that I've seen by Cricut, of course, they run, I would say, upwards of about $15 or more. Um, so that's that with that. And then this Fiskars, Fiskars is a, a nice, a, it's a good name brand. It's a big name in uh, Joann's for sure. I see some Fisker items in Michael's, not a whole lot, but I do see some, but these are pricey items as well. Uh, this mat, and it, it unfolds, because it unfolds into, I want to say, two pieces. So it's two of these, it folds out this way. Um, $10. So, that... Um, sums up my haul for Tuesday morning. I did get a recycle bag, but that's not a big deal. I am a recycle bag girl. Um, and I try, you know, where I can be green, I try to be green when I can. And this is one of the areas where I try to be green. Oh, so I got a cute recycle bag to put all of my items in. And... <laughs> The grand total of my Tuesday morning trip was $73.34. So it was an impromptu visit to yet another craft store that I probably did not need to go to. Well, it wasn't a craft store. It's Tuesday morning, but it was a bargain shopping experience and why would I pass up a bargain when it is right there and if I don't get it, someone else will. And right now, I'm in the process of investing a bit more into myself and into my craft and into my art so I can get to the next level. So why not, right? Yeah, I'm trying to validate me spending $73. Like, <laughs> so anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you have any questions, please, please leave comments below. Don't forget, do not forget to like if you like the video. Also, subscribe. It's free. You won't lose out on anything. And when you subscribe, you are always notified. Well, click the notification bell. But subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when I post another video. And more than likely, it will be another haul. It will probably be another haul. But anyway, you guys, again, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely enjoy doing these videos, doing these hauls, so you guys can know where you can go to get some really good deals and not have to spend a super amount of money because we're bargain Barbies here. We're bargain Barbies, you know? Um, Barbies and Kim Barbies. If there are any men watching. So, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. Share, share, share. Sharing is caring because we have to keep the word out so we can share the wealth from these bargain videos that I'm putting out for you guys, right? So, I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Eclectic Barbie signing out. You like the summertime love. I pull up to your spot in the evening. Got a life and a pop for the weekend. Girl, I say you're the one and I mean it. I mean it.